सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल टूडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू पाइथन पांडास एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज इट फॉर वेरियस ऑपरेशन विच आर देयर इन डेटा एनालिसिस एंड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वॉट इज पांडास पांडास इज अ ओपन सोर्स डेटा एनालिसिस लाइब्रेरी फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग इजी टू यूज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एनालिसिस टूल्स एंड you need to note to some of to few basic things like what is data frame it is a you can say m cross n vector where m represent rows and represents column so it's basically the the table which you are seeing uh, with rows and columns so what is s series it's it's a m cross 1 vector and uh, each column in data frame is a panda series so you can think it of in that way so how do you read a data set so we'll starting with we'll start with that and before even reading you need to provide uh, how how do you import pandas so for that import pandas as pd import numpy as np this you have to do and run so now you have pandas and numpy ready to be used although we won't be using numpy here but just in case so now how do you read a database so so uh, first just you can initialize df and this will be the database which we will be using and uh, how do you read it so we have multiple options like pd.read table excel sql json so depending on what file you have we have many options so as i told if you have excel file you can give pd.read underscore excel if you have sql file you can give pd.read underscore sql if you have json you can give pd.read underscore json and that's how you read so pd.read underscore and if you have csv file uh, you can give csv and now i'll in brackets you have to give the name of the file so i'll be using this uh, train train packet 1.csv so you have to give it exactly like this and now if you want to see your data set you just give df which you have initialized so let us see yeah. so this is my our data set which we have imported so you can look at all the columns which you have now here comes the thing now suppose you just want to see first two rows or first five rows how you will do that that is what you have to do you have to see your data set you have to get an idea so to do that you will be using head function so the df your data set followed by dot head and in bracket how many rows you want to see you just give those numbers say 5 I want to see five rows. So see, one, two, three, four, five. You got five rows. You have row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, subcategory sales. So this is a basically a sales data set which I have taken from internet. So let's proceed forward. So you can similarly change if you want ten rows. You can just give ten, ten, and run. You'll get all those. now what do you think should be our next step uh how do you like suppose you don't have a data set you want to do some operation based on say tables which you want to create how do you do that so that we can do by creating test objects so first you will say you want to create your own data frame now say say a name df_abc this is the data set you want to create now how you will do it you just give pd that is pandas dot data frame this is the function you have to remember this now you have to give a bracket always now you have to give what column should be in your data set columns and uh, you can give uh, whatever columns you want always use quotes so say i want city 
and I want state okay now I want some values in those columns right so how you, I'll do that I'll give a comma separated by data and again I'll give those data values now here there is the trick you need to give double brackets because inside each bracket there is a bracket which represents each row and in each row those values you can give say first first column is city so the first entity will go in city so say I am giving Bangalore now in second state I, I want to give where is Bangalore so it's Karnataka now I want to give second row as well so just give comma after first bracket closes and initiate the second bracket say Mumbai and state Maharashtra right yeah so that's how you do it and uh, I guess that's it you just close the bracket and uh, you can run it see you got the table which you are creating here city Bangalore Mumbai state Karnataka Maharashtra this is just the index so that's how you create your own data set now viewing you know head function I already told you now if you want to see number of rows and columns in your data frame how you would do that so for that purpose we have shape function you just give df which was your original data set which we imported dot shape and uh, it will give so we have 909,800 rows and 18 columns in this table now say you want information like index data types and memory those things of the original data set you just give df.info and you run it see you got everything got it these are to analyze your data uh, your table whatever data you have imported now you if you want to access particular rows columns how do you do that for that we have functions called iloc lock the two are uh, really necessary so what is the difference between iloc and lock that i'll also explain you why there are two why not only one so in our first table we are performing this df dot i lock so for rows how you'll do it um, say you want to access first row so it will start with zero index right so our first row will be indexed as zero so just run it so you got it right first row of data frame this one now if you want second row you just give one see this is your second row row id is two if you want if you want from zero till third index then you will get this one two three three rows and i lock doesn't include the third one see we have only zero one two if you want to include third one also you can sim just simply use lock function see now you got third as well so that's the difference between i lock and lock so now you got to know how you can see the rows particular rows now how you will see particular columns that is also required so the same function df dot lock and uh, to access each column you will give a column comma say you want first column so you just give this function hmm, there is an error okay I'll correct it I'll update the corrected version I guess some error is there so I explained you how you will get particular rows
now we will move to data cleaning part say you want to remove some columns you want to find out if uh, for if how many null values are there in each uh, in each columns how many null values are there those things if you want to find out we have many functions for that so first if you want to drop particular columns we have df dot drop function and in that you want to include the column names which you want to drop say you want to drop city uh, say yeah you want to drop city how you'll do that so we'll just give city and uh, we'll put in place is, is equal to true here as well you know what it will do in place is used to mention the modification to original data set itself but if you give false it won't modify original data set and to get columns we have to give access as one it, it denotes that we are accessing the columns so here we are uh, accessing I think some error okay I'll get back to this very soon I think I'm missing on name yeah it's capital C yeah it's case sensitive so you have to be careful What is going wrong here? Yeah, so it's dropped now. Now you want to find uh, city there. So just to see, see city is gone. So that's how you remove it. And uh, you have to, if you want to check for null values, you just type df dot is null it will check see false denotes there that that value is not null so if something is true it will show as true if something is null it will show as true if you want to check how the count of how many null values are there in columns you just do df dot is null dot sum it will show you the count let's see see there are 11 null values in postal code that's how you see if you want to drop any rows that contain null values you just do df dot drop na i'll show you it will drop it Now let's check. Those changes wasn't weren't made to original data set. So how do you do it? Mm, this 